Hi, it's Kim, the Hypertufa Gardener, and thanks for joining me today in the garden. We're going to talk about my Persian shield, the Strobilanthus diariana, if I'm saying that correctly. You might have seen a glimpse of it in one of my previous videos where we have the two urns to each side of the front door. I have it planted there, and I really, really liked how it stood out and showed very prettily and colorfully this year. It can be planted in the ground. I have it in these slightly shallow urns, I might say, but I really, really love it. It does need a lot of watering. It'll droop if you don't get out there and keep it watered, but it does best in shade. It keeps that pretty, glowing purple sheen. And I'm assuming it's called a shield because it almost looks metallic with that uh, green and purple markings. But it's a really wonderful plant. It's hardy in, I think it's zone 9 to 11. It dies to the ground in zone 7 and 8 and will come back. But here in Ohio, if I don't take it in, you know, that's it. It's dead. Now, I did plant real sweet potatoes in these urns. I, they were a pretty matching green, but I wished I'd planted the ornamental. Now I am taking cuttings in so I can bring it as a as a house plant this winter because it will be just as pretty inside as long as I give it enough light. So I took my cuttings and then immediately took them into the sink and I washed them to get them very very clean of any bugs, any spiders, any tiny little eggs or anything like that might, that might hitchhike. Don't let those get into your house because I tell you from experience that is a fight that you're not going to win. You're going to have bugs all year. So I've rinsed them real well, tried to get down into the cracks and crevices and film at the same time with the other hand. So that's a little bit difficult. But what I'm going to do is just put them in a little spot of water here on the table. You can see the little glass and I put all three strands down in the water and within two or three days I should have some small roots and I'll right away put them into some soil. Um, I don't like to keep them in water for very long because I don't think the roots form very well if they're in water for too long. But these are pretty large purple leaves and I know they're look, gonna look good on these cold snowy days when I do long to see some color and something from the garden. But read the post on the blog. I have a little bit more information about the zone and the information's there. But get one of these for yourself. It's worth it. I'm going to have this one to put out next spring, I hope. But thank you for watching. I really appreciate when you stop by and see what I'm doing on the videos. Be sure to comment and hit the like button, subscribe, and watch some more of the videos. But thanks again for watching.